best um, in our parishes for the sake of our kids who see themselves with the future of the church. So, um, and regarding stickering and all that, I have been at more than one meeting where there was a solitary voice that spoke up in a way that nobody else had spoken. And that solitary voice was able to shape the direction that our communities move in. Just because everybody yet says one thing doesn't mean that we don't have the capacity to hear a lone voice that says, just a minute, is there another way of seeing that? And is there another way of moving? So please do, let's all work together. Let's nobody rush to any conclusions. Let's nobody, you know, think that the answer is clearly before us because it's not. We've got a lot of listening and a lot of discernment to do. We all do. P. How many more years? People are asking how many more months I'm going to be with you. I, said, oh, 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 oh. I, I, have, I have absolutely no, I'm, I'm in my fifth year, and I'm in my fifth year, and typically an assignment is six years. So, um, uh, and then there's an opportunity to renew for six years if things are going good, typically. But we're, we're moving to the point where we're not operating out of what's worked in the past. As our numbers decline and all that, we don't know. Because we've been here before, haven't we? Yes. We've been, we've done visioning before, and then all of a sudden the pastor moved, and so we got stymied again. So I'm, I promise you, I'm going to do everything I can. One of the first things I'm going to do is get a copy of this, and I'm going to send it to the bishop. I'm going to let him know exactly what we're talking about, exactly what our options are, exactly where we've been, so he knows that that that's an important part in our in our parish planning and our strategic planning. We have, we have some timelines that we're uh, obliged to here at Hopewell. I'm grateful to the community at Hopewell who have welcomed us into their home here. I'm particularly grateful to Angie Teal. Where's Angie? Angie, I'm particularly grateful to you for your kindness. You're kind of like the hostess today. So you've helped us with everything that we need and you always do. Please join me in giving Angie and Angie. And let us pray. Good and gracious God, we, uh, we thank you for your great kindness and your great faithfulness to us. We know that you'll never ever abandon us. We know that you'll never ask of us more than what you are willing to give us in grace. And so Lord, we ask that you just continue to strengthen our bonds uh, between us. Help us, Lord, to grow in respect. Help us to grow in charity. Uh, help us to grow, Lord, in, uh, in love and in joyfulness in our sharing in this uh, journey of faith. Uh, we ask, Lord, that um, you open up the pathway before us. Um, we ask that you anoint us with your spirit. We ask, Lord, that you uh, be near particularly to those in our parish family who feel alienated. We ask, Lord, that you be near to those in our parish family who are suffering this day. Um, Rosemary Reinhardt from the Alveda community died this morning, and we ask that you be near her family. Uh, Helen Holman from the New Regal community is in really critical condition and they don't anticipate that she's going to make it today. So Lord, we ask that you uh, be near to her family. And uh, Lord, we ask that you give us the capacity to reach out to all those uh, in our parish family and outside our parish family that are in need. These things, Lord, we pray as we lift up our voices and pray in the way that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we ask for Mary's intercession during this Jubilee year of mercy as we pray. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn to that most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
As we leave, why don't we turn to those around us and share a sign of peace. Thank you.